let's talk about Diana's tree, also known as the Philosopher's Tree. This is Diana's tree. Now you may be thinking, hey, that doesn't look an awful whole lot like a tree, and that's because it's chemicals. This is a chemical reaction. Specifically, it's the reaction of a solution of mercury in silver nitrate, and it does a whole complicated chemical reaction, but basically this is the end base, which is basically just crystallized silver. It forms these dendrites or like those little spindly crystalline fingers that do, I guess, sort of look like the branches of a tree. Now, the name Diana's tree comes from its association with the Roman goddess Diana, the goddess of the moon, who was often very closely associated with silver, the color, the metal, all of that. So much so that a historical name for silver was, in fact, Diana. Now, the other name, the Philosopher's Tree, is because that this reaction and the kind of dendrite crystals that it produces was thought to be a precursor to the Philosopher's Stone. Now, I've mentioned the Philosopher's Stone before multiple times, but basically it's a thing in alchemy that is supposed to, one, grant immortality, and two, turn very common metals like lead into precious metals like silver and gold. And so this process, which does, to be fair, look like you're turning mercury into silver, does sort of seem to be a vaguely similar process of the alchemical lead into gold. It's kind of mercury and silver nitrate into silver. Now, historically, this was a stupidly time-consuming chemical reaction that often took more than a month to get any actual results, usually 40 days. Now, in modern times, with slightly different methods and materials, we can get this reaction done much, much quicker. But to early alchemists, this was quite the process. In modern times, there's also ways to get this done without just straight up mercury, which now we know very well is incredibly toxic. It's still reportedly a pretty lengthy and time consuming process and is not done very often other than basically just for funsies because crystalline silver does not have a lot of uses. However, it does produce quite the interesting looking result.